Hi Aries, welcome to your daily tarot card reading. I hope you're doing well today. It is the 18th of September. We're coming up on a full moon in Pisces on September 20th, I believe, or 21st. It will be the full harvest moon in the 12th house of the zodiac, which is intuition and the psychological state of mind. So we have third chakra. This is about joy in your life, things that bring you happiness, success, positive energy. Okay, so I've got the door to personal healing and happiness. This is 34. So let's see. I'm just going to read that. Not the whole thing, but... So with the um, golden light of the third chakra, this is the center of your life force. Issues resolve, revolve around personal energy, enthusiasm, moving towards completion, vibrating your power, your resonance, purposeful energy, having personal power. Then we have the 34, which is a doorway. It's a positive change on the way. A light-filled door and opens onto a lush, rainbow-lit um, room with vibrant lotus flowers. If you're working on anything positive, it says here, such as inner healing, breaking addictions, making external changes, finding a new place to live, this is signaling that a new opportunity will appear. The changes you've been working on are ready to blossom. And you can have optimistic expectation. Okay. I think I'm going to pull one more. So... Wow, the man holding a heart, number 45. This is very self-explanatory. It's someone who is showing you love and compassion, um, being kind, generous. The number 45, let's see here. It's a man with flowers, someone who signals greater clarity and emotion and purpose in your life. Um... This card can signal the presence of a new man in your life, one who tends to be more thoughtful and aware. It could be a love interest or a friend. It could be someone very who has the intention to help you with personal projects, family, or home. Okay. So, Aries, let's see what we get coming in. Full moon. On Monday in Pisces 12th house a lot of people with mental health issues could be you know having a hard time because it it intensifies the energy it intensifies the emotions that are buried repressed emotions and repressed feelings that could come to the surface so you could be seeing that in a lot of people Full moons intensify emotions. So it also is a time of release. So people need releasing and healing. There could be um, 12th house energy. Pisces is a natural intuition that we all have that comes from our deepest places of our soul. So let's see what we get here for Aries on Saturday the 18th. What does Aries need to see? Page of Wands. Very youthful energy. Could be a messenger bringing you exciting information or news. It could be someone who is immature but very, very enthusiastic. It could be an impulsive person. Okay. So we have here an Eight of Pentacles working hard. Somebody is busy working on projects or working alone, maybe studying. We have underlying energy, nine of water. Contentment, wishes that happen, wishes that come true. 
emotional satisfaction. There is a king of pentacles here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, money, wealth, and abundance, stability. Okay, we have a four of swords, resting or not communicating with someone. You could be mostly working today, focusing on projects, but it shows here sort of a cutting off of communication. Future energy, Knight of Swords. Somebody could have some words to say that are very rapid, uncontrolled. The delivery is fast. So your energy is the judgment. You're making a judgment call about this situation. Um, it's a major transformation, a change. We have three of water, celebrations, reunions, good times, social events. You're wanting strength. You're wanting to be peaceful. There could be someone around you who's not very peaceful. King of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, man, bottom of the deck is the three of swords. So I feel like you're choosing peace. There could be a person here that is lashing out at you, um, losing their temper. They have words that are quick. You, What you'll be aware of is either you're not speaking to them or they're not speaking to you. Now, your energy is judgment, which is... A reckoning something will happen this will be a decision for you to make something is brought back around okay so what do we have here what is under the three of swords the lovers and the hermit okay so what is the four of swords in the awareness Okay, nine of coin, earth sign energy, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Independence, independently wealthy, on your own. Someone's sort of doing their own thing. What is the Knight of Swords? Ooh, the death card. So you get some fast information regarding change. Okay, so what do we have here for the judgment? Aries is the judgment. Something about this Three of Cups. There's a judgment call you're making about other people or a social event. What is the Three of Cups representing? The, ju <laughs> the judgment. So the judgment is a spiritual transformation, a divine intervention supernatural um, it can be a judgment call where you have a decision to make based on what you feel is correct or the right thing to do um, you feel like doing your own thing what is the nine of cups underlying here the victory card recognition rewards and accolades what is the judgment then towards these people what is the judgment the world card you've done everything you can the the world is like you've been through the whole cycle you you there's something here about virgo or wisdom or wanting to be alone or recluse what is the king of cups here what is the king of cups the 10 of cups the happily ever after it could be a person in your family. What is this King of Cups doing with the Ten of Water? This is emotional satisfaction and fulfillment. King of Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody is giving you some information. Some news. There's a messenger. What is the Death card representing? What is the death card representing? <clears throat> Seven of Cups. There's something very complex. 
confusing. Four of Wands, okay. What is the King of Swords? Page of Swords. So you get ideas, messages, information. Um, so your energy is judgment. So you're going to be feeling like you're judging a situation based on what you feel you need to do. And whether it's not do anything and just be by yourself. What is Ten of Water here? Here we go. Ace of Coin. A gift, an opportunity. Now, what is this Nine of Coin and Four of Swords? There could be an air sign around you, a water sign around you. What is the Four of Swords and Nine of Coin? Okay, there's confusion or a lack of clarity. Indecision. Underlying this is contentment with the way things are. Like, I feel like you're content. What is the Six of Wands? Okay, there's Nine of Air. Fear, worry, a lot of concerns. Okay, there is some kind of news here. There's Three of Swords and the King of Water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Man. And there's some kind of heartbreak or pain surrounding a scenario. What is this message being delivered? What is the outcome here? The Ace of Water, the new potential for love, peace, happiness, healing. And on the bottom is this focusing on work, money, tasks, hobbies. Somebody's working by themselves. It's also the energy of kind of like investigation or inquiry or um, looking at accounting statements. So there's a, a good energy at the ending of all this. But what is this King of Water representing? It looks like an apology, but something about a Three of Water. Celebration, good times. Social events, Five of Swords. Somebody could be feeling like they have other options in love as well. I mean, they could be feeling like they have a chip on their shoulder. Uh, we have a Strength card here, which could be Leo, but it could also be um, having the strength to withstand somebody's attitude. What is the death card here? The death of this, okay. We have here a king of wands and stars. Could be letting go and taking action. There could be a person around you where you're healing or letting go of a situation. A complete release. What is the nine of coin? Okay, there's someone here who's possibly acting immature. Because it came out with a Four of Cups. Uncooperative. Okay, so the outcome here is an Ace of Cups, an Ace of Coin, a Ten of Cups. What is this outcome? Two Aces, two Kings. Emotional fulfillment. Okay, so what just flipped was the Ace of Cups. And the Four of Wands. The stable, happy home, the achievement of a goal of stability, the page of cups, and the empress. I feel like it could be an apology. There could be some nice, loving energy coming in. Bottom of the deck is the sun with the ten of coin behind it and the six of wands. I feel like there is an overcoming. You're overcoming a situation here. It's a very positive reading. There, It just looks like there was maybe some recent pain or recent concerns that are now being resolved. 
Okay, Aries. So it looks like your energy was the judgment, a spiritual transformation, a day of judgment, a day of reckoning, needing to make a decision based on what you see or what you're going through. Underlying energy is contentment. Okay, we're getting the deceit card. What is this deceit about? Okay, you're walking away from deceit. Whatever this is. And there's a victory of some kind. You're overcoming a situation, walking away. There could be new love in your life or a new offer. Wow, bottom of the deck is a cornucopia. Something much better coming along. Okay, Aries, thank you for tuning in to my channel. And take care.